In this technical video, Ford Universal Gas Oxygen UEGO sensor function and testing will be covered. UEGO sensors operate differently than traditional oxygen sensors. UEGO sensors are wideband oxygen sensors containing a pump cell operated by the powertrain control module, or PCM. The PCM uses the current required to operate the pump to determine the air fuel ratio. The sensor will have six wires, two for the heater circuit and four for the oxygen sensor circuit. When testing with the scope, the voltage displayed will depend on where you place the tester negative test lead. If placed on battery negative, you will see voltages above 2 volts on the sensor or pump circuits. If using the sensor floating ground, you will see positive to negative 450 millivolts at the sensor or pump circuits. The signals displayed are the sensor and pump signals. The pump signals mirror each other quite closely while the sensor holds steady. The scope channels are connected in the following order. Channel 1, yellow trace, on the pump cell. Channel 2, red trace, on measured pump cell. And channel 3, green trace, on the universal sensor. Pump and measured pump circuit voltage is fluctuating from 2.1 to 2.7 volts. The universal sensor holds steady at 2.9 volts. These are normal readings on a good sensor. When we move our scope negative test lead from battery ground to sensor ground, the sensor and pump signals go to plus or minus 350 millivolts, with a range of plus or minus 450 millivolts. Once at 350 millivolt range, sensor fluctuation is more visible and easier to test. Begin by forcing the sensor lean, create a large vacuum leak. Voltage should go to and remain at positive 400 millivolts when the vacuum leak is present. Then, force the sensor rich using a propane enrichment kit. Voltage should go to minus 400 millivolts and hold during the enrichment. If the sensor does not respond to forced mixture adjustments, it is likely faulty and should be replaced. Be sure to confirm there are no vacuum, fuel, or exhaust leaks that can affect sensor operation before replacing. 